Hello and welcome to today's um, episode of IT Galore. I'm your host Kevin Doyle coming to you from the um, the bucolic banks of the River Shannon uh, here in Limerick City, Ireland. Uh, today I want to start a discussion on the role integrated uh, marketing communications plays in the successful adoption of new IT systems. Um, to help with this, I will be making reference to a 2007 book by Terence Shimp called Advertising and Promotion, 7th edition. This will be supplemented by my own findings and experience. So initially, we will start our exemplar discussion with an introduction to integrated marketing communications and uh, how these techniques are implemented. Secondly, uh, we will look at the five key features of um, integrated marketing communications. And finally, uh, we will look at some obstacles to um, implementing an integrated marketing communications um, campaign. So firstly, I'm going to get you to ask yourself, what is uh, integrated marketing communications? Ideally, I suppose there are two categories uh, of integrated marketing uh, communications. One where efforts are directed at a mass and uh, diverse audience. And two where a customized uh, campaign targets a specific uh, audience. A mass promotion uh, campaign would consist of the following uh, promotional elements. Um, including uh, advertising, uh, point of purchase, sponsorship, sales promotion, internet and public relations. While personal selling and direct marketing are very much uh, customized to a, a targeted audience. In the IT industry, we have uh, mainly, or we mainly see um, advertising uh, directed marketing and uh, public relations being used to raise awareness of new and upcoming products and services. Due to the diversity of products and services in the IT ecosystem, targeted advertising makes sense. On an interesting note, uh, one would be forgiven for confusing uh, internet-based personal selling with um, mass undirected advertising when, um, when these uh, automated uh, campaigns are directed through gargantuan social uh, um, networking sites such as um, Facebook and Google Plus and Ocart and all these. So once you have selected your desired audience and the brand name that you want to build up, it is then time to start carpet bombing uh, all your media channels with um, the same consistent message. When all media channels uh, successfully deliver a consistent message, you have achieved what uh, brand managers would call synergy. So, so taking an example of uh, the dating website uh, match.com, uh, uh, where we constantly see uh, little thumbnail adverts in our social um, you know, network uh, newsfeed and we also see uh, unsolicited emails from you know, these types of companies. But uh, recently in Ireland Match.com started a parallel television campaign to lend credibility to their online brand but uh, it'd be interesting to see did it actually work. So that should have given you a general idea of how integrated marketing communications works. We will now highlight the rationale behind integrated marketing communications and this rationale I like to call the five fingers of IMC. So if we were all uh, sitting around a boardroom table uh, with client representatives, brand managers and uh, marketing psychologists we would all have a hymn sheet, sorry, uh, so a list of uh, requirements uh, that would be similar to the following list. Number one, start with the customer or prospect in mind. Number two, 
use any form of relevant contact. Number three, achieve synergy or speak with a single voice. And number four, build relationships. And number five, affect behavior. If we were to fool around and be cynical for a moment, our list would sound something like the following. Number one, find your target customers. Number two, assemble their personal details and preferences. Number three, bombard them with the same consistent message from all angles for an extended period of time. Number four, affiliate our brand with uh, worthy causes and familiar celebrities to, uh, so that the, the target customer feels uh, relational to our brand. And finally, number five, uh, instill a need for our branded products that makes um, target customer, targeted customers um, you know, feel the need for our, our products and it makes our customers um, you know, hand over their well-earned cash. So just to reiterate, that was just a cynical example of an IMC campaign. So which brings us to our final short uh, section on obstacles to um, implementing an integrated uh, communications campaign. So I guess, put succinctly, you need a lot of talented people to pull off a, a successful um, integrated marketing communications campaign. Generic mass media campaigns are easier to organize. Uh, the the customized uh, direct to customer campaigns um, are a little bit easier um, to organize. And um, finally, ensuring all our channels deliver the same consistent message is the core of any successful integrated marketing communications campaign. And looking around us uh, today, we, we, we can see that um, advertising, particularly online advertising, is mega business. IT has been used to assemble um, massive centralized repositories um, of our personal details and online surfing, surfing activities, all with the aim of matching our every wish and desire with, with someone out there who claims that they have a product or service you know, that can grant that wish or fulfill that, uh, that desire. So that concludes today's episode uh, where we looked at the inner workings of integrated marketing communications. We also looked at the five fingers of integrated marketing communications. And finally, we looked at some obstacles to implementing a successful um, uh, integrated marketing communications um, campaign. So as we say uh, at the end of all our videos, if you want to continue to see uh, more of uh, of these of these videos, um, you know, uh, I'm going to cover lots of different types of content all related to IT. Please let your friends know about us, uh, know about our channel IT Galore on YouTube. Um, also re remember to rate, uh, comment, and subscribe, and add me as your friend on YouTube. Uh, so I look forward to exchanging ideas with you again uh, sometime soon in the future. So until next time on IT Galore, Sloan and good health.